Okay, so now we are done with this uh, basic registration functionality. Uh, and before we go into this uh, sign in, we'll just uh, quickly uh, implement a uh, Django messages uh, package in this application. Okay, uh, if you go to Google and say uh, messages in Django, uh, you can see this uh, the messages uh, framework. Okay. So by default messages package is uh, actually enabled in your uh, uh, Django application. So if you go to this uh, uh, settings.py in the installed apps uh, you can see uh, Django contrib messages. It is already enabled in your system. What we need to do is we need to just uh, uh, tell the Django that we are going to use uh, uh, this messages in our website. Okay. So you just have to uh, copy this one. Okay. Copy and uh, uh, in the settings.py file, uh, come to the bottom of this uh, page and paste it here. Okay, so messages.info is actually uh, this is the name of the uh, name of the what I can say the bootstrap class. Okay, so instead of this uh, info, I'll just say error. Okay, insert the single quotation, let's say danger. Okay, so uh, this 50 uh, and critical I don't see any uh, you know anything useful from using this one I'll just remove it and the next thing what you have to do you have to just scroll down and uh, here uh, you see this if messages then this part you you just have to uh, copy is uh, copy it uh, as it is and come to the site uh, code and in the in the you know in the templates includes we have footer and nav bar right so uh, with uh, you know in the includes folder itself create a new file called alerts.html okay inside this alerts.html just uh, uh, paste this code okay so now uh, this this is actually a basic uh, uh, version of uh, you know uh, Django messages okay we can modify this message however we want but uh, first I will just show you how this actually works so we have just put it here okay so the next thing we need to do is we need to uh, quickly uh, set this up here okay now we want to display this uh, messages in the uh, in the registration form right so here for example if you write like this include space uh, we are uh, actually we are including this ls.html inside this uh, hist, uh, you know register.html so that it will render the uh, this code you know render this code here inside here okay so it will uh, then check the if there is any message it will show it otherwise no uh, no message will be shown so alerts.html all right and now uh, again register dot uh, you know uh, accounts dot register so i think in the views dot pi okay so what we did here we are saving the user object but also we should say messages dot success okay so success is actually the success message okay if it is the error then we can say messages dot error okay so in this case we are saying messages dot success and with this we need to pass the request comma and we can say a registration successful okay so with that we will return a redirect to the same page okay so that is register all right and now it should work now let's uh, try with the any email address one two three one two three four five six one two three and the password okay, click on register now all right uh, this is uh, actually again a name message is, uh, is not defined actually we need to import it 
from django dot contrib import messages okay messages now refresh uh, okay so what happened is uh, it it actually created a, a user object already okay so we will remove and remove this otherwise you can use a different email address now click on this register okay redirect uh, comes from this uh, redirect okay so uh, this uh, django dot shortcuts so again register okay now you can see registration successful message okay so this is the basic version of uh, this uh, um the message okay but we can actually we can uh, customize this okay so i want to customize this a little bit so that it will be uh, you know uh, a little bit uh, uh, clearer to see okay so what i'll do is i'll just say after the messages here okay i'll create a div with the id of uh, message okay with the class of container so this div i will close um here okay so uh, this ul i don't want okay so that ul is actually uh, you see this uh, dot here right so that's uh, the uh, that's because of this ul uh, and this uh, li instead of this li i'll say div and div okay give a space here so now what's happening uh, div if message dot tags class uh, now this class will be alert space alert iphone okay don't give a space like that just uh, it should be like this alert hyphen then the uh, message dot ta tags will be made uh, this one okay whatever tag we will give message dot success okay so like this it will work if this is success then it will uh, the bootstrap will uh, load the uh, success color that is green right if it is danger then it will load the danger color uh, i mean the red color right so again after this and if we will also say a role is equal to alert okay and i think that's it we still need one button here okay so because we want this uh, we want this alert box to be uh, closed manually right so with uh, for that we will need a a uh, cross mark okay for the cross mark we will actually use this uh, ampersand and times semicolon okay so i think uh, not like this okay we'll put the span class and uh, put this ampersand and times and inside the span let's say aria hidden is equal to true okay uh, don't worry if you don't know bootstrap okay just uh, uh, just uh, follow along with me hidden okay this is hidden aria hidden is true and then in the button let's say type is equal to button and the class is equal to close and data data hyphen dismiss is equal to alert okay so that should uh, work properly and uh, 
remaining thing let's keep it like this now refresh register now you can see registration successful okay now you can close this manually also so okay so if you if you uh, want this uh, message to be closed automatically in some x number of seconds then we can also do that just by adding uh, adding a piece of jquery code okay so i'll do that as well in the static folder inside the js okay inside the js folder we have this script.js uh, in the bottom of the page we will say set timeout and open a bracket and inside this a function and here a dollar symbol and a dollar means uh, the jquery okay and this uh, message id so this message id is uh, is of this one okay alerts.html this one we are referring to and dot fade out slow okay and comma maybe 4000 or 5000 okay because uh, this is in the milliseconds 4000 is 4 seconds 5000 5, 5 seconds okay so just uh, give a hard refresh okay Control F5 or uh, uh, like this inspect and right click on this uh, you know this uh, reload icon and uh, you will see this uh, three options hardly uh, uh, normal reload hard reload and empty cache and hard reload okay so click on this empty cache and hard reload uh, so that it will clear out all the cache okay so that uh, it will just uh, uh, you know it will just uh, bring the uh, jquery what we return so now uh, if you try register so now let's wait for four seconds okay so now this is working right so that's how and uh, okay so messages is done and this basic uh, sign up process also done and now we can do the sign in after sign in we can uh, uh, we can go uh, go further with the uh, verification email things okay so we'll do the email in the next one okay thank you